Well, another month has come and gone, and it's time for the September Caboodle Kit. Now, what inspired me to put this particular kit together was um, during one of my lives, I showed some of the different things that I had made, and one of the things I showed was this little cloth um, journal. And so they said, hey, why don't we have a kit? based on this little journal I said okay don't have to tell me twice I love doing these so let me show you very quickly um what um I did with this particular one it's it's a small one um let me give you some dimensions so you get an idea because that is you know going to determine the items that are in in the actual kit so this is about four inches by about five and a half with a few things you know going over but that's pretty much the basic size and it's my favorite size because it just you know your hand can just couple the whole thing and I love that size of journal so that's what we're going to be making I have pockets in here I have some um, different types of quilt pieces and really just scraps when I made this one because I made this a couple of years ago and there's places for pockets there's pockets up on the top places for you to put your tags in and then all your little small scraps you can find a home and if you have like little small items there's homes for all of that we are using papers, we're going to be using cloth, all kinds of fun stuff. Another tag, another opening up here, this has a, like a little, little book. Very cute, very cute, you know, you know. Those things that have the cute factor. And this was a cantha quilt, a piece of cantha quilt that had been given to me a long time ago before I even knew what a cantha quilt was. <laughs> so I put that on the cover and um, I just think it's really cute. And as you can see, even though it's got a lot in it, it's pretty chunky, you're basically working with three long pieces of fabric doubled which means six pieces of fabric to actually um, construct the book so that's important when you see what's in the kit that it takes the six pieces to make this okay so let's see what's actually in the kit of course you have to have little tidbits because you know um, a lot of us keep all of our stuff but there's some people that don't sew at all so I've got about just, you know, I literally have a bag where I put all my little, little snippets of stuff in there. And so I grabbed 20 of those items and put those inside of each bag. So obviously each bag is going to be different. It's got pieces of cotton, pieces of lace, pieces of ribbon, pieces of applique. A few might have some little crocheted things, some lace, ribbon whatever I just grabbed my bag and took out 20 at least 20 pieces and put them in this little bag which will start you on your way to filling in you know these little little pieces where you just need little little pieces to um, accentuate you know on your page to make it look uh, give it the, the cutesy factor so those will be in the kit then you have to have little accent pieces or, you know, what's the fun in that if you don't have other little things to put in there. So, um, each will have two of um, these, um, oops, things are getting stuck to it. <laughs> two of these embroidery floss, um, like what are these called? I don't know what these are called. Anyway. 
two of these <laughs> in varying colors. And then those of you that are quilters, you're probably familiar with these. These work really well when you're working with your fabrics. So in case you haven't been exposed to these, these will be fun for you to use when you're working on your pages and you're clipping them together. So also there are going to be these um, little ribbon clips. There's I think three of those. Those are cute to hang little things on your pages. Then also, um, if you're unfamiliar with these um, particular safety pins, if you're a quilter, you probably know all about these. But they're the ones that don't have, they're called coilless. They don't have a little coil that's down on the bottom. Now, for those of us that um, do mixed media and do different things with our projects, <clears throat> these come in really handy because if you've gotten a traditional one and you, a traditional safety pin, and you try to put beads on here, well, you can put beads on here, but then you can't clip it on anything because, you know, there's nowhere to put the fabric. This way, we can bring our beads all the way across, or whatever it is, we're hanging charms, whatever it is, and they just come around, they hang from here, and then you can still put this in and clip it onto the, um, the fabric. So I think I've got three of those that are in the kit that you can use. And then each kit is gonna have these little charms each kit they will be different so I'm not sure you know everyone will get uh, a different type of charm but they um, are relatable to fabric in one way or another so this is a little pair of scissors and here is a cute little iron look at that it's adorable <clears throat> and then we're going to get some of the ball pins and you're going to get um, three ball pins and in the three different colors and then you're going to get uh, this ring and we're going to be making our little pin cushion because I mean while we're sewing we got to put a little pin somewhere and why not have it just really handy right there while we're doing little hand stitching so that's what we'll be making with this and of course everybody needs a little pair of scissors to snip off the ends I'm having them still in the package because they do have a little bit of oil on them. Um, um, I think like right there on the tip. And so I didn't want to take them out of the package so it would soil things. So be careful when you open this up, make sure you wipe down the, um, the oil that's on there and then they are all set to go. So that is um, all that is inside. <clears throat> Excuse me, I have allergies really bad today and everything is like tickling my throat. I apologize. All right, so that's part of the goodie bag. I also had this cool fabric. Some of you might remember seeing this when I was making the uh, fabric tape. And I thought, oh, well, this has to go inside of um, the kit. So everybody's going to get a strip of that. Now the rest of the stuff, um, except for this, okay, everybody also is going to get two of these exactly like these, um, two larger ones and two smaller ones. So this right here, everyone will get exactly. The rest of the stuff, you will have the same amounts, the same types of um, material, but they are, they're gonna be um, different um, patterns. They won't all be the same because they're from my stash and I didn't have um, enough of any one thing to put into the, um, the kits. So here's a nice little piece of scrap fabric that can be incorporated. Remember, this is a small um, little book that we're making, so these pieces go a long way. Um, this is a piece of Cantha quilt, similar to the one that I put in the front and everyone's will also be different. We're going to get a piece of a really, really vintage <laughs> um, quilt. Some of them are gonna be in better shape, some in worse shape, but we're gonna be probably cutting it all up anyway, but I thought it'd be cool to have those fabrics and to have a piece that's quilted. Also, everybody's going to get a piece of bark cloth. It's, they're all gonna be um, different but still very cool to work with. Um, some kind of 
lace or doily will also be included. This particular fabric that I had, I think it had four different pieces on these panels. So yours won't be uh, necessarily identical to this one, but it will be off the same um, yardage that had these panels. It'll it will have the, uh, the same color theme is what I'm trying to say, <clears throat> but I can't talk. <laughs> All right. And then you're going to get um, at least six pieces that you'll be using as your um, pages that you're going to make um, in this journal. And of course, they're all going to be different, but they are all from vintage linens. So um, they'll be nice and ready for you to start decorating and putting um, your different pieces on there or stitching or whatever it is you decide to do. And then of course we have to have a little bit, oh, one more piece. This is for Singer with the Singer sewing machine. This is also a piece of cotton. So then we have some papers to play with. I have these um, tags that say handmade, and so you can cut those out and put them anywhere. You could also make a super cute little book. You could also make something where you could um, put your, your needles in. So we'll play around with that. I think this is so cute. It shows um, some vintage lace and this cute little top and a purse. Also, this one had, I think, six different or eight different um, pictures on here. And so each of you will be getting three. It may be this one or from the set, a different one. And I thought this would make really a cute little cover for a little small journal that you might want to tuck inside of these um, pages. And I thought that was a cute thing to make. Also... We're going to get this pattern and those of you that come and play along with me on my lives and we work on these um, will be playing around with these patterns when we do the live. This comes out really cute if you um, put this on some cardboard and cut each individual one out. They make really cute little tags. And then I will also include some paper that came out of a book that um, had to do um, with sewing that you can apply in your book, whether it's words you can cut out or pictures that you can cut out. And I think it is a nice little addition to the journal. So these are all the things that you're going to be receiving. along with the papers, the fabrics, some quilt pieces, crochet pieces, and various fun notions to play with. And we are going to be making this little beauty um, in September. All right. So I think that's about it. I'm going to put them in the shop. And I hope you are one of the lucky people that gets to play with it with us um, next month while we make these fun journals. I've got some boxes over there filled with these little bags. And you know they need a new home. And I think it should be with you. Thank you.